Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial and one of my subscribers, I hope you are a subscriber of mine, I'm just asked the question to do a torrent where for example it's shooting, well for example now in specific direction, but let's say we go over a specific threshold, doesn't go over it, so basically I can, I can just shoot in 180 degrees and then we are pretty much done. The whole project will be available uh, this time only for patrons, so for example if you wanted to see the whole thing here, well, you can find it there, no problem. But here I'm just gonna go into the detail how you can actually do this torrent, turning around, shooting not really, but I will show you the code anyway, um, yeah, and how you kind of block this because it's super easy. So this is 1UP Indie, I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video. So let's get right into the code because it's kind of, well, it's definitely super simple. So let's kill this thing. And what you just have to imagine is, first of all, you need um, two things. So I just have this whole ship, which is a static one. Then with an ease function, I let it go up and down and then I create an instance which is just this little thing here so let's zoom in a little bit that's the torrent so the torrent is basic everything is static but that thing is just being created on top of it and then we just rotate it that's pretty much it so how can we do that well kind of easy because we just say hey let's do that quite easy so in my step event I say image angle yeah angle and then what do we want to have well we want to have the image um, direction so we, we want to just to use this point direction function let's go f1 press on this one and here we have two points one and the second one then it just gives you back the angle and this is then the image angle to the sprite which I'm having because well my gun looks like this it needs to be the right side this is the image angle of zero because if you are pointing to the right side it's zero and then for example the, we could already be finished but um, what you for example see now now it's going downwards which we don't want so let's zoom in a little bit no for example we can go down so this is a thing which we definitely don't want how can we do that super easy we just say hey is my the mouse y so is the mouse position higher than the position of the y of the gun then you you can change the image angle if not well it won't be changing so this is like let's say as you can see now it's cutting out which is already pretty sweet so let's go down here yes you can see now nothing changes and we are already finished so if you wanted to know how to do that <laughs> you are done but maybe you want to make it a little bit more let's say delayed so what you can actually do you have a specific uh, old angle then you say point direction this is basically just here our image angle as this variable but i just then say hey the actual image angle is between the itself and then the old one which is 0.1 and so we have a slight delay so for example we start again come on come on come on now as you can see it doesn't go too fast of course you can play around with the lerp how much you want to learn between those two positions but it doesn't go instantly because maybe you want to have it a little bit more realistic but and the other stuff just copy paste it in here because well why not this is just the turning around, the other one is just I'm shooting, then I create a bullet, then I give it a speed, angle and image direction, and I just take it from an image angle as well, so it's direction image angle, well, directly from the, the torrent or the cannon itself, and then I just update it because I'm having this little uh, going up and downwards, and that's why I need to update my position a little bit, then we are pretty much done easy peasy so hopefully that answers your question quite easy and of course when you're seeing this uh, line this is just well draw a line between 
the actual position which I'm having and the mouse X and Y. Hopefully that was of interest to you. Of course, there are a lot of other things which are put in here. Uh, but nah. That was pretty much it. Have a good one. Wanna Bindi.